The 10 Curious Facts About David David, the legendary king of Israel, is an iconic figure in biblical history. Known for his bravery, wisdom, and close relationship with God, his life is filled with fascinating details that often go unnoticed. In this article, we will explore 10 curious facts about David that shed light on the life and legacy of this fascinating biblical character. Number 10. His name means, Beloved. The name, Beloved, reflects the special esteem in which David was held by God. Throughout the scriptures, David is portrayed as a man after God's own heart, as seen in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 13 verse 14 and in the passage from Acts chapter 13 verse 22. This designation should not be understood as a certificate of moral perfection or immunity from error, but rather as a testimony to David's sincere endeavor to align his heart with God's desires and commands, even amidst personal failures. In the Gospel of 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 7, David's divine election, marked by his anointing by the prophet Samuel, was not based on his physical appearance or social status but on his heart. As beloved, David symbolizes God's preference for a willing and faithful heart over outward appearances or position. The meaning of David's name also foreshadows the legacy of love and promise that he would establish, not only for Israel but for all humanity. Through his lineage, significant messianic promises would be fulfilled, culminating in the arrival of Jesus Christ, described as the beloved Son of God in the passage from Matthew chapter 3 verse 17. Thus, David's name becomes a link in the chain of salvation history, connecting divine love manifested in the Old Testament with its fulfillment in the New Testament. Number 9. A Man of Contrasts. David is celebrated for his unwavering faith in God, evident from his youth when he defeated the giant Goliath with a sling and a stone, fully trusting in God's power to deliver victory. This faith guided him through years of persecution by Saul, during which he never lost hope or confidence in God's promises. However, this same faith was tarnished by acts of serious sin, such as his adultery with Bathsheba and the murder of her husband, Uriah, to cover his transgression. These acts of David reveal an internal struggle between his devotion to God and his human impulses, highlighting the complex nature of his character. As king, David laid the foundation for Israel's future, uniting the tribes, conquering Jerusalem, and establishing it as the capital. He was a visionary leader, whose policies and military victories ensured the prosperity and security of his people. However, the same leader capable of such feats also faced divine rebukes for his personal decisions and moral conduct. David's confrontation with the prophet Nathan, after his sin with Bathsheba, reveals genuine humility and repentance, demonstrating his willingness to accept correction and seek God's forgiveness. In the Psalms, David expresses a range of human emotions, from exaltation and thanksgiving to despair and lamentation. These writings not only reveal his artistic and spiritual sensitivity but also his ability to confront and express his internal struggles. It is in this poetic expression where the contrast between the brave warrior and the vulnerable man seeking comfort and guidance in his faith is most clearly seen. Number 8. His Lineage Led to Jesus David's importance in biblical history is solidified in the covenant God establishes with him promising that his house and kingdom would be established forever, in the passage from 2 Samuel chapter 7 verse 16. This promise not only ensured the continuity of David's lineage on the throne of Israel but also pointed to a future king, a Messiah, who would emerge from his lineage and establish an eternal kingdom. This covenant with David becomes one of the pillars of messianic hope in Judaism, an expectation that crystallizes centuries later in the figure of Jesus. The New Testament begins with Jesus' genealogy, tracing his lineage directly to David. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 1 verses 1 to 16, Jesus is presented as the Son of David, a title laden with messianic significance. This genealogy is not just a list of names, it is a theological affirmation that links Jesus to the promises made to David, 
underscoring his legitimate claim to the title of Messiah and his fulfillment of the prophecies pointing to a Savior who would deliver his people. Jesus' connection to David is crucial to understanding how Jesus is recognized as the promised Messiah. Prophecies in books like Isaiah chapter 9 verses 6 to 7 and in the passage from Micah chapter 5 verse 2 speak of a ruler who would come from the line of David, one who would bring eternal peace and justice. By identifying Jesus as a direct descendant of David, the Gospels not only emphasize his legitimate claim to the throne of Israel but also his universal role as the Prince of Peace, whose kingdom transcends earthly borders to establish an eternal spiritual dominion. Number 7. Father of Solomon. The transition from David's reign to Solomon's was not merely a political succession. It was the fulfillment of a divine promise. Despite David's many mistakes, including the well-known episode with Bathsheba, God saw his repentant heart and promised to establish his throne forever, appearing in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 7 verses 12 to 16. This promise implied not only the duration of David's reign through Solomon but also the establishment of an eternal kingdom, prefiguring messianism in Jesus Christ, a descendant of David. In the Gospel of 1 Kings chapter 3 verses 5 to 14, Solomon not only inherited the throne but also received the wisdom, wealth, and peace that his father had prepared for him. Under David's guidance, Solomon learned to rule with justice and to seek wisdom above all else. Additionally, David provided the resources and plans for the construction of the temple in Jerusalem, a project that Solomon would successfully carry out, establishing a center of worship for all Israel. Solomon led Israel to its zenith, a period of unprecedented peace and prosperity. Under his leadership, the kingdom experienced significant economic and cultural growth, becoming a recognized center of wisdom and trade in the ancient Near East. This success was not only the result of Solomon's political and economic acumen, it was also the fruit of David's prayers, sacrifices, and faithfulness to God. Number 6. He composed music for the temple. The significance of this contribution cannot be understated. In the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 23 verse 5, David decreed that 4,000 levites would be appointed to praise the Lord, with the instruments I have provided for worship. This declaration not only underscores the role of music in worship but also David's personal commitment to this form of praise. He himself was a prolific composer, and numerous psalms are attributed to him, which, at their core, are songs expressing a range of human emotions toward God, from the most exultant joy to the deepest lament. The music in the temple, as ordained by David, established a model of worship that has influenced both Judaism and Christianity throughout the centuries. David's psalms, many of which were created specifically for this purpose, continue to be a cornerstone in the liturgy of both traditions. They are recited or sung in synagogues and churches, in moments of great solemnity and intimate personal devotion, demonstrating the timelessness of their beauty and spiritual depth. Number 5. A man after God's own heart. What does it mean to be a man after God's own heart? This phrase, originating from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 13 verse 14 and reiterated in the passage from Acts chapter 13 verse 22, is not merely a compliment. It is a revelation of David's character and his unique relationship with the divine. Unlike Saul, who was rejected as king due to his disobedience, David was chosen because of his willingness to follow God's will, even amidst his own imperfections and sins. To be, after God's own heart, implies a life of continual pursuit of divine will, a heart willing to sincerely repent, and an unwavering faith in God's promises. What sets David apart is his reaction to the confrontation of his sins. His deep repentance and sorrow, expressed in Psalms like Psalm chapter 51, depict a man who, despite his grave mistakes, sought to restore his relationship with God. This capacity for repentance and seeking redemption reflects the essence of being a man after God's own heart. David's influence transcends his life and kingdom. The Psalms he composed have become an endless source of comfort, hope, and spiritual guidance for millions of people throughout history.
Furthermore, his lineage, which leads directly to Jesus Christ according to the New Testament, fulfills messianic prophecies and uniquely connects David to the divine plan of salvation. Number 4. A King at 30. Before becoming king, David spent years in the wilderness, fleeing from the wrath of King Saul. Despite being anointed by the prophet Samuel as the next king of Israel, David lived as a fugitive, demonstrating both his resilience and deep respect for Saul's authority, whom he referred to as the Lord's anointed. These years of adversity not only forged David's character but also deepened his dependence and trust in God. David's anointing as king at the age of 30 over Judah in Hebron marks the fulfillment of the promise made by God through the prophet Samuel. It was a defining moment, not only for him but for the entire nation of Israel. This transition of power was carried out in a context of deep faith and acknowledgement of God's sovereignty. David did not hastily seek the throne. Instead, he waited for God's timing, a principle that characterized him throughout his life. David's ascension to the throne also marked the beginning of a new era for Israel. Under his leadership, the tribes of Israel were unified, and the kingdom experienced a period of unprecedented expansion and prosperity. David established Jerusalem as the political and spiritual capital, a center of worship and governance that would endure through the ages. Number 3. Friendship with Jonathan. The story of David and Jonathan begins after David defeats Goliath, the Philistine giant. Jonathan, the son of King Saul and heir to the throne of Israel, is impressed by David's courage and faith. From that moment on, a friendship is forged between them, which Jonathan seals with a covenant, giving David his mantle, weapons, and belt, in a gesture symbolizing the transfer of his loyalty, love, and royal rights. David and Jonathan's friendship is tested when Saul begins to see David as a threat to his reign and seeks to kill him. Jonathan, torn between his loyalty to his father and his love for David, chooses to protect his friend, even risking his own life. On several occasions, Jonathan intercedes for David before Saul, attempting to appease his father's wrath and warning David of the plans against him. The relationship between David and Jonathan is further deepened when they make a covenant before God. This covenant is not only a commitment of personal friendship but also an agreement that binds their descendants. This pact demonstrates the depth of their commitment to each other, establishing a bond that transcends life itself. The story reaches a critical point when Jonathan and David are forced to part ways due to Saul's increasing threats. In their farewell, they once again demonstrate their deep affection, weeping together and reaffirming their covenant. The last time they see each other is an emotional moment, marked by sadness and uncertainty about the future. Tragically, Jonathan dies in battle alongside his father and brothers, a turn of events that leaves David deeply grieved, mourning the loss of his brother Jonathan. David honors his friendship with Jonathan even after his death, seeking out Mephibosheth, Jonathan's disabled son, to restore to him lands and secure him a place at the royal table as one of his own sons. This act reflects the deep love and respect David had for Jonathan, fulfilling his promise and keeping alive the legacy of their friendship. Number 2. Victory with a sling. David, then a young shepherd, arrives at the camp to bring provisions to his brothers, soldiers in Saul's army. Upon hearing the challenge of Goliath of Gath, a Philistine giant whose height is described as six cubits and a span, approximately nine feet nine inches or about three meters, David volunteers to face him, motivated not by arrogance but by deep faith in God. Despite Saul's and others' disbelief and doubts, David rejects the armor and weapons offered to him, choosing instead his sling and five smooth stones from the brook. The showdown between David and Goliath is dramatic and brief. As Goliath advances with his armor and weapons, David rushes toward him with his sling in hand. With a single stone hurled from his sling, David strikes Goliath on the forehead, knocking him to the ground. Then, using Goliath's own sword, David decapitates the giant, 
sealing Israel's victory and proving that faith in God can overcome any obstacle, however imposing it may seem. David's victory over Goliath with a sling is a powerful reminder that power and victory do not depend on size or strength but on trust in God. This account symbolizes overcoming insurmountable challenges through faith and conviction, a lesson that transcends religious context and resonates in various life situations. Number 1. A Poet King. David's history as a musician begins even before his ascent to the throne, when he was still a young shepherd. He is described playing the harp with such skill that it calmed King Saul during his moments of spiritual torment in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 23. This ability not only highlights his musical talent but also the power of music as a means of healing and spiritual comfort. However, it is through the Psalms where David's poetic dimension reaches its fullest expression. He is credited with approximately half of the 150 Psalms, which encompass a wide spectrum of human emotions, from exaltation and gratitude to lamentation and supplication. David's Psalms are a testament to his intimate relationship with God, revealing his vulnerability, his repentance for his sins, his quest for guidance, and his unwavering faith. David's figure as a poet king breaks the stereotype of the warrior monarch, showing that true greatness comes from the ability to lead not only with strength but also with heart and creativity. His legacy as a poet and musician has left an indelible mark not only in Jewish and Christian tradition but in universal culture. The Psalms, often attributed to his pen, continue to be recited, sung, and meditated upon by believers worldwide, offering comfort, hope, and a pathway to the divine.